Senior care has a couple different pots of money available to them for scholarships. So in skilled nursing facilities, otherwise known as nursing homes, um, they have a um, skilled nursing scholarship reimbursement program through the state of Minnesota. So many facilities, every facility kind of runs their scholarship program differently, but many facilities do offer like 100% of tuition. Um, some will offer books as well and maybe some other um, fees. It really is kind of dependent on the facility to um, develop their own scholarship program and then get reimbursed through the state through um, our rates, our, our operating rates. The other scholarship program is a home and community based scholarship program, which is available to um, those uh, home and community based services employees, assisted living, home care employees. Um, and that's a little bit different. Um, the employee applies or the facility, sorry, the organization applies um, on behalf of how much money it thinks it will spend based on what um, the employees need. So it's a, it's a bit of a different process um, and one that hasn't necessarily been around as long. I should mention on the skilled nursing facility scholarship, there is the ability um, also to do uh, tuition reimbursement for new employees. Competitive advantages I think that we have in senior care um, is to really grow our own workforce and really develop them with educational opportunities. Um, it's something that our profession has been about for years. Um, so really those career ladders are available um, and I think you'll find in senior care we really invest in our employees and that starts with the education. Um, formal education as well as informal education, continuing education, professional development, et cetera, but we're making an investment in that person um, because a lot of times people grow with the organization. I myself started as a dietary aide, moved my way up the ladder into various positions um, in a nursing home, eventually got a human resources degree um, and went on to get my administrator's license and a master's degree, um, but the facility really believed in me and encouraged my education and I was able to do that while I was working. Sure, um, I think senior care um, in particular has a lot of natural career ladders. It's a way to do kind of mission based healthcare. So you get that clinical experience often if you're in kind of the nursing end of things coupled with that kind of social element, you know, getting to know and really care for someone um, really driven by mission and service. Um, and it, it partners both of those things together very well. Um, so there's natural career ladders. Many people start like I did as a dietary aide um, or maybe a housekeeper and then decide that they're going to go a clinical ladder and go in to become a nursing assistant or a trained medication aide so that they're a nursing assistant that could pass medication. Um, and then maybe go on to become a licensed practical nurse or a registered nurse um, or a BSN, a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Um, We've had some people that go on, you know, maybe a therapy trajectory. So maybe their entry point is nursing assistant, but what they really want to do is become a physical therapist or an occupational therapist. Um, I think the advantages of working in senior care, again, is that we really invest in our workers. So we're used to modifying schedules, allowing you to, um, you know, do your education and change it. Or you change your schedules um, based on semester. Um, you know, perhaps do some type of on the job training while you're working with us. Um, it just, it, I think it's kind of a natural fit. I didn't go the clinical route. I know that um, nursing probably wasn't my thing because AMP was a really hard course when I took it and I failed, so made a little. Um, so I was more of the administrative route, um, you know, and kind of human resources and assistant administrator to administrator and those um, opportunities are there as well. Again, I think it's just kind of that that overall culture that supports um, really investing in each person.